Time now for our community update this morning. Joining us in studio this morning is Appleton Police Chief Todd Thomas. Thanks for joining us. Morning. So first, let's talk about a recent Marquette Law School poll on crime and safety concerns. What did it show? Yeah, last uh, yesterday another poll came out. So the last couple of months, it's shown that crime is is really important on people's minds. It's a top concern right right after inflation. It's the number two concern. Um, so I think it's something that we need to you know look at data and talk uh, talk about and let people know what's going on. What did this show you that crime was number two in this poll? Um, well, for us, we know it's in the, on the top of people's minds. Um, obviously, we've seen a lot of the stories. Uh, we're in the political season now. For the next four weeks, we're going to continue to see uh, a lot of ads and politicians mm -hmm. talking about it. But um, for us, we went to the data. We looked at the data just to see what's happening in the city of Appleton. And has the city seen an increase in crime, and if so, what types? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, we are kind of following the trend. Uh, we've seen an increase in our Part A crimes, which is some of our more violent crimes. Um, and really, the last two years, we've seen an uptick in, in aggravated assaults, assaults, um, weapons offenses uh, since 2021. It's gone up about 10 percent since we since 2017-18. So we look at the pre-pandemic years and kind of compare it to uh, what those numbers were. Um, and it's it's a concern. So we're it's something we're talking about and we're we're putting strategies in place and, and been working on. What do you think is causing the increase in these types of crimes? There never never is one uh, specific incident or factor that that causes this to happen. I think it's. Uh, you know, people understand inflation, uh, where we're at with the economy, that causes a lot of property crimes. Um, uh, fentanyl uh, has really exploded, like something I've never seen before. It's, it's flooding into our area. Uh, it's getting mixed with all different types of drugs, even marijuana. Um, so that is, has caused a lot of crime. Um, and then there's just policy issues, policy, public policy decisions being made at, at the state and federal level that, that is, is causing us concerns in that areas that, uh, that I think of, has impacted, caused an impact in our crime. And now what about the pandemic and mental health issues? That was a big thing. Yeah, pandemic, we've talked about the shadow pandemic. Mm -hmm. That's going to continue for years and years. Uh, mental health has, has, as we've seen, especially with the younger adults and kids, it's an issue that we need to put more focus on. Um, you know, unfortunately, we've had a lot of money put into that area. It's just finding the workers and the counselors. Uh, to, to fill a position. So I think that also impacts crime. And what are you doing about this? Well, you know, as far as, as far as the uh, aggravated assaults and assaults, uh, generally those are crimes on people they know. So it's not stranger crimes. It's not uh, uh, something that somebody's walking down the street and they're getting attacked. Generally, it's domestic violence. Uh, about half of our aggravated assaults are domestic violence. Uh, so Domestic Violence Center and the Sexual mm -hmm. Assault Center partnered in Appleton. Uh, we're hoping to see some synergy from that group. Um, working hard on the fentanyl and the drug, the drug addiction issues also. And just some tips to give people for staying safe after all of this. And like how can people educate themselves and how can they help? Yes. Um, so educate yourself on what's going on in your community. Stay involved with your police department. Uh, what we've seen works is a good relationship with law enforcement. Um, if you have, if you see something going on, call us. Uh, you know, especially when you see suspicious activity around houses. Um, we know drugs drive crime, so we're going to make sure that we continue to focus on that with whatever resources we have. And then educate yourself on the election. I think uh, elections have consequences, and so people really need to educate and, and vote their conscience. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, it's cloudy in downtown Appleton right now. Temperatures all day in the 40s. We could even have some hit or miss rain. We'll talk about that and the snow chances right after this.